a brief look at what's new in iOS 12, beta 7, and 8. You'll find a new splash screen when you launch the Messages app, and this splash screen explains some of the new features like Memoji, the new way to share photos using the new Photos app inside the Messages, but the real interesting thing is this right here, Conversation Streamline. So basically explaining how iMessage addresses are linked by contacts so you'll no longer hopefully have multiple threads for the same person. Now some somewhat sad news, group FaceTime will not appear in iOS 12 upon its initial launch. That has been delayed, uh, so we'll see this sometime later on down the line. And this continues a trend of Apple announcing features and then not launching them until sometime later. And it's unfortunate in this instance because group FaceTime is one of the flagship features found in iOS 12. In fact, it's one of the first things you see on the iOS 12 preview page. Now here's something that's been changed in the latest betas. The Measure app has a slightly tweaked app icon. Here it is how it used to look on previous betas. And then here is how it looks now. So in the latest betas, the Measure app icon looks more like a traditional ruler. Now this isn't a new feature to the latest betas, but it's something that I saw on Reddit. You can find the link down below in the description. But basically the gist is, is that the opacity values are displayed on the markup tools right there on the tool itself. So you can see uh, the current opacity levels. You can see right there and it's at 80. Uh, very handy little indicator there to just let you know uh, what you're working with when you draw on screen. And then finally, the face ID smiley face, which was removed in previous betas, looks like that was just a bug. Now it is back in the latest beta. So that's a very good thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that is just a hands-on brief look at some of the new features in iOS 12, beta 7 and 8. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.